Hello my friend and welcome back. Today I'm feeling called to do a card pull and to see what kind of message the universe has for us today. So again we've pulled a card that we have pulled before but we actually haven't pulled this one in a while. It is Anna grandmother of Jesus seeding the light laying foundations divine plan and so just for a little bit of background on uh, Jesus's grandmother Anna she um, is not very famous in history however apparently she did a lot of work that kind of paved the way for all of us, but especially um, Jesus. And a lot of her work was unrecognized. And uh, so like, I guess like when you do research more into her, you can find more of like what she did and exactly how she was um, kind of laying the foundations for what was to come in the future. But a lot of it is still really unknown. However, I'm not sure how they know, but they know that she did a lot of unrecognized work. And that is something that I think is really, really valuable for all of us to kind of pull through into every aspect of our lives. You know, we don't always know why we're doing something or what kind of effect something is going to have but knowing that you are doing good work and you are doing the work that you are being called to do, we must let go of the egoic need for res recognition for that work. And that's really hard to do. And even in when it's not light work, even when like you're doing maybe a simple act of kindness or something like that, you know, a lot of times we do feel that egoic need for someone to see it, for someone to recognize it. And I, I am, uh, that is me, a hundred percent. And it like trickles into little things like, even like say, you know, I'm getting ice cream and leaving a tip for, you know, the ice cream workers. I want to see, I want them to see that I'm leaving them a tip. And it's partly because I want them to know that I recognize their work. Um, but some of it is like, it's like a little bit that egoic need for recognition. Like, I guess the need for them for me to want them to be like oh thank you so much you know and that is very much an egoic need and it's not going to affect how much money they have or you know like I should just be happy that I am that I am recognizing their work and that I am leaving them a little bit of money that will add up at the end of the night and put like another dollar or a few dollars into their pocket and that should be all I need, but I do have that human egoic need for recognition. And that is not, doesn't just go for ice cream tips, but it can bleed into every other aspect of your life. When you do something for someone, you want them to say thank you. When you let a car go into front of you, in front of you, you want that little thank you wave. But this card is telling us and reminding us that we don't always need that thank you, that we don't always need that recognition, and that the divine doesn't miss anything. It doesn't miss a beat, and that we should just be moving along in our lives, just doing the right thing and spreading that light because that is what we are here to do. You know, we are not here to be recognized for our work. We are here to do the work. And it can show up in a lot of different ways, you know? It can be those small acts of kindness. It can be doing that inner work. We don't get the recognition that maybe we should I don't want to say that we should because 
why should we you know because doing the inner work has so many benefits for us that you know for the person doing the work that we shouldn't really want need that additional thing you know that additional recognition and that goes for any kind of light work we can never forget that life is a game of boomerangs so whatever you're putting out there comes back to you and that should be the only thing that you need to be aware of you don't need that recognition you just need to know is that when you're putting kindness out there you're putting little bits of light out there those lights are going to come back to you and they are gonna come back to you magnified so don't ever feel like because you're not getting that recognition and you need to let go of that egoic human need for recognition that things aren't still going to come back to you and that it is okay for us to kind of lean on that concept to help us let go of that recognition it is okay to lean on that concept of well what i put out there is what is going to come back to me so let me put out things that i want to come back to me it is okay to kind of lean on that even though that is still kind of meeting the other half of that transaction um it's better than needing the recognition and it is more truthful than needing the recognition you know because we are all one what we do to someone else is really what we do to ourselves so that is where that boomerang kind of comes in and shoots right back to us so we need to keep that in mind but we do also need to keep in mind that you know all of us in some aspects are Anna all of us are doing work and laying the foundations for the future and i've talked about this a little bit before but and this is just my opinion on things i don't think i think right now that a lot of people that have awakened and that are awakened right now have done it have done so out of pain it's been kind of that squeeze and then all of a sudden you're kind of like brought to your knees and you know just kind of brought to that full part of surrender and then you awaken and then you kind of see the truth and then then the fun begins you know um it is fun it is great it is light but it is also a lot of inner work and i don't think that it is meant to be that way for everyone for the future of humanity i think that we are going to go through a massive healing and we are going through a massive healing that is going to make it a lot easier for all of us to awaken because remember the awakened state that high vibrational state is our natural state it is not something that we need to get to we already are there we just kind of have those weights those sandbags of humanity on us and when we start to heal we are cutting and letting go of those sandbags allowing us to rise and to be back at our natural state so as we do that work and as all of us who have awakened out of pain and who are really doing a lot of that healing work on yourself that is cutting those sandbags not just for yourself but for all of humanity and that is the foundations that we are leading so people don't have to awaken they already they just aren't maybe put to sleep in the first place because you know they say like we came here to remember who we are remember who we are on that grand level but some of us are remembering who we were in past lives as human lives and not human lives and you know things like that and i don't i think we're here to have the human experience and we're here to experience all of the amazing things that humanity has for us to experience and i don't necessarily think that the future of humanity needs to be caught up in the past in past lives in past you know spiritual lives or maybe any et lives that you might have had or any starseed lives that you might have had don't necessarily think that we're gonna have to be aware to all of that i think that those of us that are aware of that right now are laying the pavement of 
doing the healing and making the connection, creating that bridge for us to lead human lives, but from our souls, from our hearts. And I think that truly living from our hearts is the future of humanity. And to live from your heart, you don't have to really be tied up in all of those past things. You know, you can be aware that maybe you lived many lives, but it's not exactly necessary for us to live from our hearts. And for us to have a truly amazing human experience, and for everyone, all humans to have this amazing human experience, it requires us to live from our hearts. And in my opinion, that is the future evolution of humanity because when we are all truly living from our hearts not only are, are we allowing ourselves to experience that highest joy that highest bliss we are no longer living from a hurt place and we are no longer wanting to hurt other people or to not care about what we are doing you know in simple terms like to our planet living from our hearts and coming from our hearts, we will then come from a place of connection, knowing that we are all connected and everything is connected. Therefore, we want to treat everything, you know, at the highest level of good, therefore the highest level of good for all. And when we are start to come from that place, that is where humanity is going to be able to heal. And that is when the true heaven on earth is going to take place. And, you know, I'm sure you've heard the term heaven on earth. So as of right now, individuals that are awakening are able that that connection, that enlightenment is that idea of heaven on earth because heaven is not a place that we go. Heaven is a place right here. We don't go anywhere ever. Everything is right here right now. So to create that heaven on earth is doing that healing work, is finding that connection to the divine and, you know, creating your reality from a state of joy and love and peace. And, you know, if you've ever thought about heaven, you know, if you take the part of having to die to get there and you think about heaven in a state of how you feel, wouldn't you feel like you are in love and bliss and joy all the time? Well, that is what doing the inner work and going on this spiritual path, that is where we are headed. And therefore, that is that heaven on earth. And I do believe that it is as more people do this work, as we start to lay this foundation, it is laying the foundation for humanity to get to that even easier and with more ease and grace and with less work and less suffering. And, you know, your human egoic mind might be like, well, you know, why do I have to do all of this work so it's easy for everyone else? That isn't fair. Well, I'm sure you've heard the term that life isn't fair. And when you come from that very zoned in perspective of me, I'm doing all this work so it makes it easier for everyone else. I want it to be easier on me. That is where you must go back to your connection. That is where you must bring your awareness back to the truth, to the truth of connection, of oneness. There is only one. So in theory, as you do the work to lay the foundation for future generations to awaken and to live their truth with more ease and grace, you are laying it for you. You know, you are making it easier for you because you are that future generation. You are those people. You are this planet that doing this work is going to save, okay? So that is whenever that human egoic need for recognition, you know, wanting to see the worker put that tip into the jar, you know, that inner work that you're doing, you want that recognition and you want it to be easier for you. That is where you need to go back to your connectedness. Go back to the truth. Keep going back as many times as you need to. 
Remind yourself of that. We are all cut from the same cloth. We are all divine. There is only one energy that creates everything and every single thing, every person, every place, this camera, this this room, everything is the divine. There is only one energy that creates it all and you are that energy. So when you are making things easy for your for the future people, you are making it easier for yourself. And that is what we need to remember when we're doing the Anna work, okay? When we are doing the work that we are not getting the human recognition for. That is where we need to go back and do that Anna work, that future laying of foundations, letting go of that need for that recognition and knowing that your recognition is coming from the oneness, the connectedness, and that you are doing things for future generations, which is the future you, which is you. You are everything. I am you. You are me. Okay, so let's keep that in mind as we're doing this work because we are here at, here as humans and it is easy to forget and it is easy to get wrapped up in wanting that recognition because this is not easy work. Could Because this is work, work in the way, every single way of the word, okay? Because I'm not going to negate it. We can move through it with less suffrage and with a little more ease and grace, but it is called inner work and it is called spiritual work and a spiritual practice for a reason. It is something that we have to continue to do. And I just want to encourage you and to let you know that you are not alone and to let you know that just because you are not getting the recognition, just because you aren't able to sing it from the hills, everything that you've been doing to let everyone know what you've been doing, this is your message. This is your sign that I see you. The divine sees you. The divine doesn't miss a beat. The divine doesn't miss any act of kindness, no matter how small. The divine doesn't miss any amount of inner work that you're doing. The divine doesn't miss any amount of spiritual work, okay? The divine recognizes you. The divine sees you. Every little thing, the divine sees you and recognizes for you and is sending that boomerang straight back to you. So I want to end it there and that is our message for today. I want to thank the divine for showing us such a beautiful card and for delivering such a beautiful message because um, I know that I definitely, definitely get caught up in that and I am so grateful for that reminder. So I hope you enjoyed that message. I want to thank you so, so much for tuning in. My name is Anne, and I hope to see you tomorrow.